Hopkins Bayview is the latest Maryland hospital to apply crisis protocols typically used during disaster situations. WMAR 2 News Mark Roper is live outside of Johns Hopkins in East Baltimore this morning. So, Mark, what are administrators seeing that's prompting them to make these changes? Good morning, Megan. Well, Johns Hopkins Health Systems here, they say they saw the number of COVID patients more than triple this month at their Bayview Medical Center, and they say it is the largest increase that that hospital has seen since the start of the pandemic. Now, some healthcare officials would call this a crisis, an emergency or a disaster. Now, Johns Hopkins Health Systems is the latest healthcare organization to enact what's known as crisis standards of care. The crisis standards of care concept provides a standard of care framework for hospitals to use during disaster situations. Now, these steps include using different clinical care models, rescheduling elective surgeries, simplifying documentation requirements, deploying clinical and non-clinical or redeploying clinical and non-clinical staff, and freeing up hospital beds through early discharges when it's safe and appropriate to do so. Now, the president of Johns Hopkins Bayview says implementing these changes allows them to increase access to health care for those who need it most and also allows the hospital to take care of as many patients as they can with the number of staff that they have. Johns Hopkins Medicine has worked with the University of Maryland Medical System to standardize the process for activating crisis standards of care. And just to give you a little backstory on these protocols, the Department of Health and Human Services asked the Institute of Medicine to develop the crisis standards of care concept after Hurricane Katrina. Now, the Institute, Institute of Medicine is a nonprofit, non governmental organization which offers advice on health issues. And earlier this month, Governor Hogan directed hospitals in Maryland to change their pandemic plans once the number of hospitalizations passed 1,500. That number now stands at 2,046. Reporting live in East Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.